If you want to follow along, you can download a Clue 3D project file. See the Gumroad link in the video description. If you're interested in Cloud in 3D prototyping and want to learn more, I have a course for beginners on Udemy you might be interested in. You will find the link to the course in the video description. So let's get started. Hello everyone, just a couple of words regarding the quality of the video in this episode. It looks like my settings of the recording equipment did not quite agree with my monitor settings. So we will be looking at this top right here. And uh, everything else is uh, quite visible, but the final is uh, slightly blown out. So hopefully you will still find the video useful. And I'll make sure to keep my settings correct for the next one. Thank you. Today we're developing the drape top. So let's start with setting up our bodice. First of all, you remember that we need to extend our bodice by about 23 centimeters to hip line. And then uh, it's pointed here that we need to add another four. First thing I will do is um, extend them. All right, first of all, I'll create the reference line. And then delete these dots and the points. After this, I will start adjusting the block. First, let's drop the shoulder by one centimeter. Then we will add this one centimeter dot here at the center. So I will straighten it out first to make sure that it's actually one centimeter we're adding. One. After this, I will add um, the bust level line and two centimeters here at the waistline so let's make it straight first to make sure that we're starting from the correct point and inwards two next this point i will lock the internal lines and move this point up 0.5 and in 1. So up is x and inwards is minus 1 because it's towards left. Here we go. After this I will extend the bodice by 23 centimeters and mark this distance. So hips 89 centimeters divide by four plus 0.5 and it's wrong all right 89 centimeters divided by four plus 0.5 2275 change length to 2275 And after this, I'll offset it again by four centimeters. And now we have this. Now I would like to add just a little bit of curve here to make it nice and smooth. And let's sort out the dart. So the dart is positioned nine centimeters away from the center back. I'll go into the dart I'll place it somewhere here and it's three centimeters total so 1.5 on one side and 1.5 on another and outline is nine centimeters off the left side let's make sure that it actually is correct nine centimeters great so the top edge of it touches our bus level point so we'll extend it and the bottom is three centimeters above the hip line and zero five towards the side seam so let me push it down a bit and then we'll take it up it's just the easier way to go about it and towards the right by 0.5 great now i will remove the 
reference line and now we have this pretty little back now let's do these things to the front as well so i will add the bust level first then remove this point and this oops and this dot and this point now let's do this pass first two centimeters side so from the vertical i will go towards there two centimeters and now i will lock the internal lines it'll and deal with these with this point so at this point will go up and will mark so x it's right and left so that will be one this time and x same zero five here it is and this part is ready now we're offsetting this by 23 23 and marking the hip this time the hip is quarter plus 2.5 so 89 divided by um, 4 plus 2.5 24.75 change length 24.75 great like this and now let's offset it again by four centimeters four that's not it offset the pattern outline by four good and a little bit of curve here looking nice the dot the dot looks like it's not going to be really um, cut out so let's just create um no let's just create that and then we'll deal with this later so the size of it is two centimeters and it's in its usual position the length so two centimeters below uh, the bust point so let's offset this line by um, two centimeters okay and extend our dot to touch this line now we can delete it don't need it anymore and at the bottom here four centimeters down I mean four centimeters up from this point from this line Right, here it is. Let's remove the reference line. So next step, we need to create this circle here. It's two and a half centimeters internal ellipse, I assume. So let's just plonk it right here so with radius of two and a half centimeters. Done. It's located right, it's touching this um, bus line of ours. So I will move it down here make sure it's in the middle touching great and it's done so next step is to create this neckline it's sort of touching somewhere from here i guess to about there make sure it doesn't cross see that line doesn't cross the circle but touches it and it has to be curved slightly so let's just give it a bit of a curl but one centimeter curve and it's looking lovely let's fix this like so great so that's the neckline next step is this line and all these bits here 
I'll split this. And I'll just add a point at nine centimeters below this um, um sign. And then I will need to join this point with the center of our ellipse. But first, I will turn our dart into internal shape like this. So it's out of my way. So here it is. A little bit of curve perhaps to make it nice looking. Great. And another one that sort of joins here a little bit. So let's just um, draw something like that and then give it a little bit of a curve. Like it's just to keep it nice and smooth. Great. So these things are done. What's next? Now we need to get this pattern functional. So all these bits need to be joined in. So for that, I will do a little bit of a sneaky move. I will remove these points here. And then I will move this out like this. After this, I... Oh, no, hold on. I need my um, reference line. Now I can move it out like this. Okay. Then I'll take my trace pattern tool. And I will trace all the points, all the lines that I need. Just add one more. All the points I need in my new pattern. So that would be all of these bits here and that too. And of course these ones. Only the outlines because trace pattern tool will uh, bring all your internal lines in as well. So now you got this, you right click and go trace the pattern. There. Now the pattern has been traced. I will copy this circle and place it back here because we might need it later. Okay, so let's see what's next. Next is marking the cutting lines. I will remove this bus level line and now mark some points. So three centimeters here, two centimeters here, 13 centimeters below the waist. And now we can join them. You see here on diagram that we have a line from the center of the circle divided into four parts. Let's do that. And we'll split it. into four. Now I will add these points here, this line. So you see that each of them connects to a point on this short line. So the upper one goes to the outer line. The bust one goes to the next one. The one from the waistline goes to the, um, no, hold on, let's see, the one from the waistline goes to the first, yeah, we missed one, the two centimeter one goes to the first point here, the waistline goes to the first, the 13 centimeter goes to the second, and one more, sort of going from, as you can see here somewhere, I'll move it and place it here. Okay, so first of all, 
I'll need to extend this line past like this. So there are some curves there, of course. So we'll see that um, this one curves inwards. like this. The bust one goes a little bit down. This one is moved and it curved in down a bit. The waistline is also down. This one down and it looks like it's right over here so sort of like that. But make sure it doesn't do that of course because we need some room there for the other line you see this so very tight in here so I will move this it looks like it's got two curves so we'll just give it a bend so it goes here and then it curves outwards like that sort of nicely okay so now the problem is with the lines was inside of this circle because they're all nicely curved but really can't do that. We just need to um, find a way to curve these lines nicely. And the way to do that would be to remove it would be to remove these short parts here, these short segments and sort of curve them separately. Okay, so this is how I'll do it. I will um, add point to intersection and then I will remove, I'll split it and remove this part and do the same thing here. And now I can add a straight line to these two and with the curve tool I can sort of pull this out making this nice sort of harmonious curve or whatever I want to do with it so it will look sort of like that and I'll do the same thing with every one every single one of these lines So now we have this pattern ready, let's pay attention to this point. So you see this point here is significant and this point, the center of the circle and also this point where this line, the radius joins the outline of the circle. So the next thing will be to cut this pattern along these lines. I will remove the circle because we don't need it anymore and select the lines but first I will split it along this one and this we've got two separate pieces cut along this line next I will cut all these um, top and the bottom parts like this and also these ones cut this bit out and do the same thing with the lower part and now I will merge this um, little 
darts here. Good. Now this is all prepared. We are ready for the next step. So, here's the next step. We need to spread this pattern pieces in such a way that we get 18 centimeters between um, these two edges. So I will move this out of the way and maybe turn it this way a little bit. Let's move this out. I need to spread this pattern pieces so we get 18 centimeters distance here. What I'll do is to create internal ellipse. I'll place it here. I'll give it 18. And after this, I will spread all these pattern pieces in a particular order. So I will match these points. Why is it not matching? Like this. And open them up. About that much. We need about third of the way of the way. After this, I will rotate these two. And then only this one. Like that. So we get about 18 centimeters in between. Um, the other ones will have to be the same way. So I will, first of all, rotate them all to match. sort of that, those pattern pieces, like that. And then I will touch, so that looks like here, one sort of slides under another one, sort of, um, and I'll just touch them here. And then all these pattern pieces need to align at the points. So after this, we'll need to trace this pattern piece. Let's create a um, pattern. Go to the um, semi-transparent mode. Grab our pin. And start tracing. So we'll need the points. All right, so here we got our pattern. Let's see what we're happening. What's happening here? So, on this side, we have four centimeter point from that um, from where the, this pattern piece is joined. So we get four centimeters down, right? So let me mark that one. Four centimeters. And I'll place a notch there. And on the other side, this is split in two. And then on both sides, we have four centimeter points. So four on this side. And four on another side. like this and then of course we'll take the notch tool 
and mark this. Great. Now we're done. We can take this pattern and get rid of all these bits here. I'll just archive this for now to get it out of the way. Great. So now we have these. I'll delete that one. No longer required. Now let's take a look what we're doing with this. We need to make sure that one pattern piece is fed through another pattern piece. Let's see how we're going to do this. So first of all, I'm going to check the sewing. Make sure there's nothing anywhere missing. Fix the sewing center back. Like this. And see what's happening here. I will bring this pattern piece to proper arrangement over here. So this shoulder obviously is sewn there. So we'll take our tool and go one two and three. You see there's some inactive sewing there which is dragging from our old pattern piece. So I guess we'll just have to get rid of that. So here's the this pattern piece. Then we see that this um, this line will have to be sewn to this, and this is our new side seam. So if I assimilate now, of course everything's going to fall apart. So I'll just create a copy and do this. Right. So right now, not too bad, we have this going. We can arrange these pieces. What I'll do here is I'll add a pin here, just to hold in place, like that. Now I'll simulate. Put these things under her arms, maybe change the particle to 5 to make it more flexible. Right, push it there. <clears throat> Use your pins if your fabric doesn't want to do what you want it to do. Just sort of nail it down with pins and that's it. All right, so I'll take my sewing tool and I sew these parts first, as you can see, under the arms. Now, don't forget to switch off your pins before you sew because the disaster is going to happen. So, <clears throat> only selected pins. Still some happened, but not too bad. Okay, so now the underarms have been sewn. I would like to sew these um, hips here. I will delete this pin and this one and I will sew this and this. Now, change of plans. Let's remove the pins. Look, something that we wanted just happened. But anyway, let's simulate this. Let's make it do what it wants to do. 
And after this, I will remove the linked editing. And I will temporarily remove this song. So now we have this pattern piece floating free and this pattern piece I have been sewn. What I want now is to make sure that this hole here stays open because I will be feeding my pattern piece through that hole. So I will keep that open and I will sort of widen it as much as I can. I'll just move it away from the body a bit like this. And after this, I will take this pattern piece here and I will add pin to it, to the corner, so I can manipulate it easily. Another one I will add here so it doesn't sort of flop around. So this is a critical kind of part, so make sure you save regularly as you work because uh, the crash is quite common and also you might tangle the mesh. So let's save it at this point. And let's begin. So I will move this pin up here. Then I'll check where it's located. You can see we're working in three dimensions, so we need to be very aware of where things are. Then I will take this pin again and move it as close to the body as I can. Now there's some rogue pin they appeared. We'll remove that. After this I'll select that pin inside and now making sure that this fits right in the hole here I will drag that in through into that hole. Let's switch on the mannequin to make sure nothing gets lost anywhere. And now, using your little hand tool here, just move your pattern piece out of this hole. While we edit, let's add another pin. And now move this out this way. Remember to work in all the dimensions. Now you're here, the mesh problems are very common, so let's just save this. Now I will need to bring this over to another side. Remember that our pins are not allowing anything to move. So it's probably time to start losing it up a bit. And give it as much room as possible. Delete the pins. Delete all the pins here. And let it just relax a little bit before we start tugging and pulling. I need this corner and I will need to move it out. Not inside the mannequin, right here. There. This is where it will go. So all this time you'll be like removing, adding pins, adding, removing pins. This all will be controlled with pins. So you got this in your control now. Like this. Time to do some sewing. Bring it as close as possible. Make sure you don't have any pins anywhere. Something's happening there. 
must be a pin by mistake so I'll just delete all pins and quickly add a new one to make sure that we have got that rogue one all right now we're ready now let's sew this piece to this one and on the other side this one to this one and then just a little bit of the center front stop before we do it delete all pins all right we almost lost mesh there so be careful when you sew don't add too much sewing at the same time let's do the side great and now we're going to sew a little bit more at a time to tighten our seams but not sort of suddenly so it doesn't make a big jolt and tangle uh, or rip the mesh oh sorry that's not done that's been wrongly done okay let's do that so i'll just tighten it slowly a little bit at a time until we get to the notch We might not be able to get all the way to the notch. We'll try. Okay. That's good enough. Save. Another side. good and finally a little bit more at the center front just to tighten that knot you see it's just over here will it allow us to do more Great, that is enough. Here we go. And here is our top. Let's switch off the dark side of the fabric. As you can see, we will get fabric, um, we'll get a top that has right side of the fabric on all sides. This is the simple drape. A little bit more work with the mesh but i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time